Okay, the reviews are here. Wow. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video you already know the vibes bro give the video a thumbs up like 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 bro we're here today is going to be such a dope day first the playstation state of play event will be today right here on the channel i have exclusive access no i'm joking but i will be live streaming it at 5 p.m eastern standard time make sure your notifications are on that's going to be lit 15 minutes of ratchet and clank gameplay will be revealed at that time but returnal drops tomorrow 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 returnal drops and the reviews are out and in a nutshell the reviews are saying this is an essential this i'm quoting one review an essential place of next gen game the first game that warrants a next gen console now on metacritic now the game has received a lot of perfect scores 10 out of 10 100 100s a metacritic it's st it stands right now at an 86 which is solid that's what i said i said it was going to be high 80 90 on metacritic which means the game is going to be fantastic i'm going to highlight some notable reviews but PlayStation Lifestyle 100, Game Rant 100, Daily Star 100, Android Central 100. Um, there's sites that I, all, all these gave 100. Game Revolution, a notable one, Game Informer gave the game a 95. Game Informer is a pretty, pretty big outlet. And so the game is off to, I knew the game was going to be fantastic. I knew the game was going to be dope. So Returnal, the true First next gen experience, even though my opinion was Demon Souls remake, I like Demon Souls remake. But um, notable reviews, um, GameSpot, GameSpot gave the game a nine, a perfect nine, and this is what they said: the good and the bad about the game. Um, just in a nutshell, I'm just giving you the cliff notes. Mysterious story teases you with progress and spurs your journey forward. <laughs> Scary cutscenes and spooky ambiance to grab your attention and never let go. Tight platforming. I, I like to hear that. Tight platforming and shooting meets challenging randomized encounters that always feel fresh even when they aren't. And so, the core of the game, the gameplay, perfect as um, far as GameSpot is concerned. Innovative use of PS5 tech, including DualSense haptics and Tempest 3D sound, creates a visceral awareness of the world, which enhances ambient storytelling and gameplay. Now, here's the bad. They have two bad points, why it didn't get a 10 out of 10 and only a 9 out of 10, which is still great. Overabundance of projectiles from you and your opponents can make it hard to keep track of what's coming and going. Pretty much they said the game is hard. They did duck points because the game is hard. Get good, game spot. All right. And they said success on any given run depends in part on what upgrades the game randomly puts in front of you. And so because it is procedural generated, you may not get the upgrades that you want at a given spot. And so they they not that that sounds like a reasonable um crit, critique. So off has is having fantastic reviews however now the lowest review score i have seen has come from ign ign gave the game only an eight saying that the game is still great eight great and so most games 
would want an eight out of IGN. IGN gave the game an eight. Um, and one of the reasons they said that they gave it up, they knocked the score was that the runs are too long, even for their own good. Because it's a roguelike, when you die, you have to start over from the beginning. And roguelikes, the, to beat the game, they're supposed to be shorter, but he, they're saying that the game is longer than they expected, which could be a good thing. They were saying there's no saving. So you, if you wanna stop, you're gonna have to put the game in rest mode um, to continue off from where you left off. So that could be that could be a drawback. Let's see how far we get. Hey, we're gonna have an epic launch day stream. I might do the launch day stream on this channel. If we get over 400 likes for this video, I'll do the return or launch stream on this channel at midnight tonight. If not, I'll do it on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan plays gaming championship. But um, another notable review score um, from Polygon. Polygon. Um, they gave it raving reviews as well. Um, they said that it was a fantastic, um, fantastic game. I'm trying to give you the cliff notes for even Polygon. What was their um, final verdict? All right. And it will still remain. I now feel vigorous compared to the creatures that have tried to defend the turn. The last was I. They they pretty much said it's a good game. And so Returnal Returnal is getting great scores. I think this game is better than a lot of people anticipated, expected. A, a high 80, 86 on Metacritic is phenomenal, bro. But we ain't done yet, bro. The PlayStation Plus games for May have been officially announced. Dope, dope games. It wasn't Godfall as previously leaked, but Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 is one game. Stranded Deep, never heard of it, is another game. And Wreckfest Drive Hard it's the third game, bro. Between Wreckfest, which scored a 91. I think it's at a 91 on Metacritic, bro. It's a dope game. I heard that it's a dope game. I'm going to be getting that. That's the PS5 game. Battlefield 5 is the PlayStation 4 version. I might still download Battlefield 5. I'm, bro, it's a new console. I ain't trying to play no. The only PS4 game I still play that I have on my system is Street Fighter V. Come at me if you won't feeling froggy and face my Laura. Street Fighter V is the only game I still play on PlayStation 4. But, because that's the latest version of Street Fighter. Um, but Wreckfest, I will be downloading this May 4th. May 4th is when we can get our hands on the free games. I'm telling you, man. PlayStation Plus games runs laps, circles around what Xbox um, Gold offers. And so, dope, dope, dope games. And it's dope that they're including PlayStation 5 games for free um, with their monthly subscription. So, definitely check out. I would recommend at least Wreckfest to download that game. I heard it was dope. And the last news item for this video, this was surprising. Bro. Fortnite makes most of their money on PlayStation. It's been revealed that Fortnite's, Fortnite's Cash Cow, the platform where they make the vast majority of their money, is on PlayStation. Um, court documents have revealed that nearly 48% of Fortnite's total revenue comes from PlayStation. On PlayStation, the game makes almost the same amount as Xbox, PC, Switch, and iPhone smartphones combined. Let me say that again. Xbox, PC, Nintendo Switch, and iPhone um, smartphone devices combined earns the same amount of money as just on the PlayStation platform alone. And so I could see why 
Epic and PlayStation is buddy buddy. That's where all they buddy comes from. All right, dudes, what do y'all think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later